support and taping. This is one that you'll commonly use on horses mm -hmm. just because a lot of horses can use extra support in their lower legs. I like to, when I do them, regardless of if the horse has an issue or not, I like to do front, back, and both sides because it just gives them more support. And then I do another one yeah. um, that kind of hugs underneath the fat box. So I'm going to cut uh, four strips of tape. You know, your guy that's kind of stepping short, he, you need to put that on him, on his legs. Because what's happened is he just shortened his tendons there because he's not using them. Yeah. So if you put this on, it's going to help him stride out normal, yeah. especially the second he feels better. Right? Yeah, and it also, the other cool thing about the tape too is it stimulates as they're moving and it's um, stretching. It stimulates the proprioceptors, which are the nerves that basically tell their brain where their body parts are. A lot of horses will have altered movement because they've had some kind of injury or something. Right. And this kind of reminds them like, hey, focus on this. So the brain remembers and they start mm -hmm. moving more correctly. Yeah. So. And cranial sacral can help with that too. Because I've yeah. had horses that yeah. had an injury. I can't put them on the piano anymore. Yes, you can. Cranial. Okay. I can do it now. Just from the one session. But this could work too, yeah. Because it's all working with the nerves. This is such a sweet looking little girl. I have to. <laughs> she, she, she was diagnosed with BPM. She is thoroughbred. Mm -hmm. And these are across her Hi. left glutes. She's Hi. thin. So uh, her right is up and so, her left is so it's one Paper side. wise on these, yeah. you right. want to tear the paper <laughs> to make a base. Uh -huh. So you can just kind of rip like it. She's okay. got to get cranial. Pull your base first. off. That and then you I start also. just a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. You stay there, buddy. And they, because when you see her, I mean, her spine looks, it, it, the crown is all loose. Rubbing it helps her. activate the glutes. So just want to rub it around the edge. So it just pulls it in just a little Yeah, I mean, you could go slightly longer, but you want to try to stay off the hook. It's just not going to stick as well. She's under treatment. I mean, it didn't affect anything. So same thing on the back. She kind of put this oh. down. Yeah. Well, she can. If they have water big kind of like feathers back here, they're mm -hmm. real hairy. Yeah, you should remove that. Yeah, they do atrophy. Yeah, I was looking for a picture of her. Now I worked on a horse at EPM. His whole neck was beautiful. I like it. There was nothing wrong with him. Behind the withers, he needs to be there. Both sides. I mean, he was a freaking disaster. But they waited way too long to treat him. He was wasted by the time they treated him. He was turned out. And then we're going to put this one down. And it went too long. Yeah. They weren't That's riding him. Nice stallion. It was a shame. Yeah. You go too long. Yep. Did you have some stretch in that? I'm sorry. I just put it, no, it, I found it stays on better if I don't stretch it. Okay. The more stretch you put, the more mechanical support you're going to have. Mm -hmm. But you can also boot over this. Like if you use support boots normally, you can boot over the oh, same thing. you can? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, of course. So this is just going to be one of more like an anchor that helps hold it on top. So I'm just going to wrap that around. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom, I like to do stretch in this one to really give support back there for the suspensory. Okay. So I will yeah. um, tear this in the middle and I'll give it about 50% stretch. I'm just gonna come right up under there. Yeah. And then no stretch on the ends. Yeah. So that's the support taping that I like to do. Can you get in the bathroom to show that good? So I had a horse that would throw his shoes easily because he had bad feet right there. Right? So if he lost his shoe, he'd be gimpy on that foot. He put the shoe on and it would take him two to three days to get 100%. So I'm thinking, oh, he must have bruised himself his foot. I so had the idea of put the tape. shoe on, put the tape on. So the reason I round them yeah. is because it just keeps it from sticking on stuff as easily. Yeah, because I think he's so it looks a little nicer. You don't have to. Round.